From Finland? I'm from Finland as well. Finland. Germany. Germany. Sweden. And France. 한국 드라마 오징어 게임의 가치가 약 1조 원에 달한다는 추산이 나왔습니다. 전 세계적 드라마 흥행과 함께 극 중에 나오는 소품도 인기를 끌면서 파생되는 경제적 가치는 더 높아질 수밖에 없는데요. 특히 우리 추억의 간식인 달고나의 전 세계가 푹 빠져 있다고 합니다. 전 세계 곳곳에 생긴 달고나 판매처들은 예약이 밀려 판매자들은 화장실 갈 시간도 없다고 합니다. SNS에서는 달고나 만드는 방법과 함께 관련 콘텐츠들이 쏟아지고 있습니다. 해외 온라인 판매 사이트에서는 달고나 만들기 세트가 3만 원이 넘는 가격에 팔리고 있고 프랑스 파리에는 달고나 전문점이 문을 열었습니다. 미국의 제과점에서는 달고나가 5달러인데 문 열기 전 새벽부터 줄을 섭니다. 설탕 들어간 간식을 쳐다도 보지 않던 세계적인 축구 선수들도 달고나를 피해가지 못합니다. 두바이에서도 사람이 모이는 곳이라면 어디든 초록색 체육복에 달고나를 뽑습니다. 캐나다 CBC 뉴스에서도 달고나를 판매하고 있는 몬트리올의 한 편의점을 소개했습니다. 미국의 유명 방송 ABC에서는 달고나 열풍을 맞아 아예 한국 원조 달고나를 취재해 방송을 편성했습니다. Netflix smash hit Squid Game. On social media, many are now attempting to recreate some of the challenges themselves. The most popular involves a Korean candy staple. ABC News Seoul Bureau Chief Ju Hee Cho visited the shop that provided filmmakers with the candy and also tested her own luck. All right, I'm gonna go for the <laughs> tough one, the umbrella. Don't worry, my life is not in danger and I'm not competing for money. I'm just playing a game I grew up with called Bokki. Chisel the shape out of the candy without it breaking and thanks to the Netflix hit Squid Game, the rest of the world is playing Bokki too. From Peru to Indonesia. Even making an appearance on Saturday Night Live. Broke my cookie and I got eliminated. The sugar candy called Talgona even becoming an obsession on TikTok. Would I survive the Dalgona game? Guess not. Squid Game tells the story of 456 down on their luck contestants playing childhood games in the hopes of winning millions. In the third episode, players have to try this candy challenge. There's the easy shapes like the triangle to the tricky umbrella, but the stakes here are much higher. Any breakage and... I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> now for the taste test. It's bitter, nutty, sweet, brings back that old taste that I remember from when I was a kid. So what makes this Talgona street candy stand in Seoul so special? Remember this? This shop actually made about 700 of these and sold it to the filmmakers of Squid Game. And there are so many people in line. The shop also sells the candy in the tins seen in the show, along with all the shapes, even one shaped like the red light, green light doll. In an interview, Squid Game's art director revealed the candy was the trickiest prop to work with. 그래서 실제 달고나 당인분을 섭외를 해가지고 촬영할 동안 저희 뒤에서 계속 계속 만들 계속 찍고. With the show reaching number one in 94 countries and translated into over 30 languages, people from all over the world come here to try their luck. I'm from Finland. I'm from Finland as well. Finland. Germany. Sweden. And France. As you guys all saw Squid Game? Yes. yes, we watched it in like two days. <laughs> we finished the whole thing. The show revitalizing a long lost game. In elementary school, there was this lady selling taikona, and I used to go there yeah, to do this. Yeah. <laughs> I never succeed though. <laughs> and introducing it to a younger generation. To enjoy the taikona and make a good experience with my son. Now this actually used to be a really popular game in the 70s when I was a kid, but it seems like this is back in trend. The shop went from struggling during the pandemic to now selling about 400 to 500 of these sweet treats a day. The recipe is simple enough. Once you melt the tablespoon of sugar, just sprinkle a little bit of baking soda. And he says the speed is really crucial. You just have to stir a lot. You flatten and then stamp. 
In Squid Game, the umbrella is the most difficult shape. The main character has such a hard time, in a sudden stroke of inspiration, he uses his tongue to help. A trick the show's director says he used as a kid. <laughs> and while you won't win millions of dollars if you succeed, you do get a tasty prize. What does it taste like? Juhi Cho, ABC News, Seoul, South Korea. 호주의 유명 방송인 투데이에서 진행자들은 스튜디오에서 달고 나를 뽑느라 바쁩니다. Well, have you ever wanted to recreate the delicious foods you've seen in your favorite TV shows or movies? Because now we can. Whether it's Ted Lasso's butter biscuits or Squid Game's honeycomb candy, Jane DeGraff has mastered them all. Or maybe the soup on Seinfeld. She joins us now from Sydney, and before we get started, scan the QR code on your screen right now to access the recipes. You must be double vaccinated. <laughs> um, <laughs> Netflix a series Squid Games. Oh, what about this? Yes. All right, so this is the Dalgona candy. Have you got yours there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this, this is a famous candy um, in Korea, and basically what they do in the game is they have, to, they have to take their candy like this, and what it is is it's honeycomb that's been pressed flat and it has a shape in it, and they, they get a little pin and they sort of prick the shape out of the middle, so they've got to break the edges off without breaking the shape in the middle. No spoiler alert, but there are dire consequences if you break your candy yeah. shape. Are you guys going to have a go there? Yeah, we're doing it now. Oh, Look she at this, broke I it. failed. She's gone. Oh, no, I failed this morning with mine. Oh, failed. You missed it. <laughs> you missed it. Yeah, look, uh, that looks perfect. That's a look at that. That is a. No, look at you go, star. Carl. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I'm starting with my star here, that. and I'm sort of halfway through. One of us survives, and one of us dies an ugly death. Hey. <laughs> Oh, well. makes it to the next go level. Somewhere. Very nice. But the fun <laughs> thing with that is that's just two ingredients. That is simply some caster sugar and some baking powder, mm. and you melt the caster sugar in a, fr in a hot frying pan, then you put a tiny bit of bicarb in, then you tip it onto some baking paper, press it flat, put, put a shape into the middle of it, let it set, and then you've got your fantastic Dal Dalgona honeycomb candy so there, no which you didn't snap the edges off. Oh, no, no, it's called honey honeycomb because it puffs up. It, it does the sugar oh, in the bicarb, makes it puffs up. So what, in a, in a violet crumble, that's not actually honeycomb? Oh. <laughs> Sometimes they're flavoured with honey, but they're called honeycomb because of the bubbles in them, not because they're yeah. made from honey. She learns something Check the day. QR code on your screen and we'll oh, explain everything to you. <laughs> 미국의 유명 토크쇼 진행자 지미 팰런까지 달고나 뽑는 영상을 공개해 눈길을 끌었습니다. 한국에서는 잊혀져가던 추억의 간식이 가장 뜨거운 유행의 놀이로 전 세계를 달구는 지금. 한국 음식과 문화에 대한 관심이 집중되고 있습니다. 여러분의 소중한 의견을 남겨주세요. 바쁘시더라도 구독과 좋아요 부탁드립니다. 지금까지 단골이시였습니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.